Theodore Roosevelt was the 26th President of the United States, a military leader, a New York governor, and an environmental activist. Theodore Roosevelt was born on October 27, 1858 in Manhattan, New York City. His family gave him the nickname Teddy, which would stick with him through his whole life. His parents' names were Theodore Roosevelt Sr., who was Dutch, and Martha Bullock, who was a Southern Belle. Theodore's dad worked for his family's plate glass import business, which was very successful. Teddy was homeschooled throughout his childhood and teenage years, which allowed him to seek his passion for animal life. Teddy had very bad asthma growing up. It was very hard for him to do any kind of physical activity. Along with this came bullies, and his dad encouraged him to exercise. He eventually started boxing lessons and would lift weights daily. Teddy eventually went on to study at Harvard College in 1876. Two years in, his father passed away and found himself living with grief. Roosevelt channeled his anger and frustration by working harder to finish his time at school. After graduating from Harvard, he enrolled into Columbia Law School. Teddy married to Alice Hathaway in 1880 and ended his time at law school to join the New York State Assembly as a rep from New York City. Teddy and Alice had one child named Alice. Two days after giving birth, Alice died as well as Teddy's mom. Roosevelt served multiple public service positions, but when his mother and wife both died on the same day, he left for the Dakota Territory for two years. In the two years living there, he lived as a cowboy and cattle rancher. His older sister was watching baby Alice while he was gone. He returned in 1886 and did not get enough votes for New York City mayor. He went on to marry his second wife, Edith Kermit Caro, having five kids, Theodore Jr., Kermit, Ethel, Archibald, and Quentin. The first job Teddy took when he came back was a civil service commissioner and then an assistant U.S. Navy secretary under William McKinley, who was president at the time. In 1898, the Spanish-American War began, and Teddy helped by taking the job of commander of the 1st U.S. Volunteer Cavalry, otherwise known as the Rough Riders. He then took the job of vice president for President McKinley. McKinley was assassinated in 1901. Teddy Roosevelt became president of the United States at age 42, which made him the youngest man to become president. During his presidency, Teddy challenged ideas of limited government and individualism. With his progressive background, he also worked with Republican Party leaders. Teddy died at age 60 in his sleep on January 6, 1919, at his home in Long Island. He suffered from a coronary embolism. John Stevens was an American civil engineer and served as an executive for the United States Railway System. John Stevens was born on April 25, 1853, in West Gardner, Maine. His parents' names were John, who was a farmer, and Harriet French. He went to Maine State Normal School, now today called the University of Maine at Farmington, for two years. The promise for a job was slim to none, so Stevens went out west, where he would go into the civil engineering field. He was involved in a few engineering projects while surveying and building railroads. Stevens was self-taught and went on to marry Harriet T. O'Brien, having five children. Stevens became principal assistant engineer for the Duluth, South Shore, and Atlantic Railway. John was hired by James J. Hill as a locating engineer for the Great Northern Railway. Stevens searched for places where railroads were capable of working. John discovered the Stevens Pass, which went through the Cascade Mountains and began railroad construction standards. He had another job that involved him supervising the Oregon Trunk Line. John Stevens also, throughout his whole career, built over thousands of miles of railroad. Stevens also was appointed to chief engineer to create a canal in Panama. As a railroad engineer, he felt the work turned the construction of the canal itself. Stevens had little background in creating locks and dams. This made him realize he wasn't cut for the job, resigning from chief engineer. Stevens was selected to chair board the best U.S. railroad experts sent to Russia to expand railroads. The work he was doing was going towards the Trans-Siberian and Chinese Eastern Railways. He returned to the U.S. to end his career as a consulting engineer. Stevens received the Franklin Institute's Franklin Medal in 1930 along with retiring to Southern Pines, North Carolina. Stevens later died at 90 in 1943.